You may have noticed before that if you have something hanging from your rear view mirror and you slam on the gas in your car, then it tilts backward. And that's what we're going to calculate in this problem. We have a car accelerating at three meters per second squared. And I have fuzzy dice hanging from the rear view mirror. And I see them hanging back at an angle and I'm going to try to compute that. So this is one example where I typically use a real free body diagram. So I'm going to have my fuzzy dice. I don't know the mass. And I'm going to go ahead and put a, a set of axes on this. And I have this string hanging up at an angle of theta. So I'll go ahead and make my string yellow. Now in the problem, we were given this angle right here, but that's the same as this angle right here. One of those theorems from geometry. So I'm going to put the theta here because it's easier to do uh, the force analysis with the angle labeled right there. All right, so then I have to think of every possible force I can think of that's acting on this mass and gravity is always there unless we're in deep space. So I have the weight vector whose magnitude is mg. And then the string is the only other thing that's interacting with this mass, and it's pulling up at this angle of theta. And it has a tension in it that we don't know. Uh, the other piece of information I have is that there's an acceleration here, so that's not a force, it's the result of the net force. So then I'll do an X and Y analysis, and then hopefully we have what we need to get through the algebra. So my X analysis, um, I need to decompose this tension vector into components, and this is one of those cases where the horizontal piece is given by the sine of the angle we labeled just because we labeled it with respect to the vertical. So I'm going to have a T sine theta for the length of this side of the triangle. And then cosine is that vertical piece. So that's a T cosine theta. So back to my X analysis, I have T sine theta. That's the only force I see in the X direction. And that's going to be equal to m times the x acceleration, which is just 3 meters per second squared. I'll just leave it as an a for now. The y analysis. I have no acceleration in the y direction, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to say all the upward stuff has to add up to the same number as the downward stuff. So I have t cosine theta. Equals mg. All right, so this is really a system of equations where the angle theta and, um, and the tension T are the unknowns. And we're just interested in theta in this case. So I want to illustrate just a really common trick here. If I take the top equation and divide by the bottom equation, the T's are going to cancel on the left-hand side. And then we're happy to see that the mass cancels out. So that's not relevant to the problem. We didn't need to know it. And this function over here on the left, sine theta over cosine theta, that's tangent theta. So tangent theta equals A over G. I could even just get a general solution and then plug in. It's good to do that occasionally. So theta is the angle whose tangent is A over G. We'll plug into that the angle whose tangent is 3 over 9.8 and I'll get my calculator up and go second tangent so angle whose tangent is 3 divided by 9.8 and it turns out these fuzzy dice will hang with an angle of 17.0 
degrees with respect to the vertical.